Alright guys, we are here back at the W body. Uh, as you can see in the title, it's gutted out. Everything's out and all the interior wiring that we are going to touch is out. You see I have it all wrapped right here. I got a piece of wire tied around into a bundle. And this is all going to probably get wrapped up and zip tied to my cage. The only wires run back to the fuel pump right now. So we can move around the lot. This is the ground wire to the fuel pump. It's just looped around there. So yeah, that's all the wiring we are going to do. Nothing, nothing is back here. Lights, speakers, nothing. We even check out the wires for the defrost lines and the window shield. The only wire is this little ground wire out to the speaker right here, which we're not concerned about that. All the wires in the roof have been cut. Just everything is ready. It starts, runs. We drove it back here to the back 40. I'm very excited about that. I think we will be leaving the carpet underneath the seat. I did cut it up front. As you can see, I cut it up front. And I did pull the seal, so I'm hoping it doesn't gather too much water in here. I pulled the seal out, as you can see. I wasn't thinking. I took it out. Have not messed with any wiring under the hood yet. Oh, you can see there's water laying right there. Huh, I might have to put that seal back on or do something. I don't really want to start growing mold, especially since that carpet's still in. Um, as you can notice, the lawnmowers are back here. I'll have to do an aftermath on them. I did not get them on film. Once again, I didn't get it on film. And I can't seem to find a video of it anywhere on YouTube. Usually that place puts it up pretty quick, if not live. Uh, we went to Chaos in the Valley up in Clearbrook, Virginia. And I will go ahead and spoil it. I got third out of nine mowers. My brother got fifth. And the only reason I lost is because the winner was not built to the rules. They do not have tech up there for lawnmowers. So when you build your lawnmower up there, just throw the rules out the window. We know that for next year now. Uh, he had his wheels covered. He had a massive one foot pointy bumper on it. He was just flipping everybody. He was hitting in the leg area, which isn't allowed up there. And But, you know, you get that. Uh, I do have donut tires for this. I need to find some smaller Cavalier full-size tires for this because these are really big tires. If anybody's ever run these sentries, you know that. I've seen pictures where they don't even change them. They're just this huge tire. And then they paint it. Subaru's back here. Finally, I had to get it off the trailer to go get the W body, of course. It's fixed, ran back here, does not have brakes whatsoever. I actually check out the neighbor's trash can, flatten that thing. I told him I'd fix it, but then when I got back from getting this, when I got back here, his son, I think it was, had already taken it back to his garage. I don't know what he did with it, but we actually had to wrap a chain around the front of this bumper and grab it around the back of that car to so act as a brake to bring it down that hill. Which it doesn't look like that steep of a hill. Let's see if I can. It still doesn't look like that steep of a hill. But uh, the rain is starting to pick up now. So I'm going to have to bring this to an end. But now that the cover off is off, you can really see this bump. How bent that is. I think we're going to be able to bend it back down. Might bend that bumper back out. I don't know. Maybe bend it out and throw it on a youth car or a gut and go. Or a car we're going to send as a trashed bumper. I wish that back bumper was in much better shape. But it's really rotted. Once again, a really 
trashy car. If that bumper's better than the one that's on it, we will definitely flip it out. Um, I did cut the wires to the trunk, so now the only way to open it is with a key or on the inside by pulling that thingy. But yeah guys, that is the update on that car. And I will be posting a lawnmower aftermath shortly. I have to wait till it stops raining so that I can unload stuff and fix them.